You know, now more than ever, communication is critical in relaying the information about COVID-19. And that's especially true for the deaf community. KCAU 9 reporter Lydia Vasquez today sharing how two local sign language professionals are making a difference and helping flatten the curve. Press conferences on COVID-19 have become the new normal. At every press conference here in Siouxland, there stands a sign language interpreter. In a situation like coronavirus, uh, the information is literally life or death. Don Hopp is one of three community interpreters in Siouxland. She says without a live interpreter, people can miss the message. They're going to be out there, possibly in a hot zone, walking the street, going to the grocery store without a mask, without gloves, not sanitizing, possibly infecting others or getting themselves infected and then taking it home, which becomes a bigger part of the problem and not part of the solution. Tara Berglund was born deaf. She says she relies on the community interpreters, especially for COVID-19 information. And I value the interpreters greatly at any level because without having interpreters in the community, really, I would be lost. Rita Harkin is interpreting for Berglund. She says closed captioning isn't always enough. If the deaf, hard of hearing and deaf blind don't get the information that they need, they could be at risk and they could put other people at risk, especially in times of health crisis. Hop Hop says body language plays a big role in portraying an accurate and effective message. In the deaf culture, their language has uh, gestures that get bigger or expression that gets angrier, smiles or conveys laughter. And all of that is part of what an interpreter needs to um, take in in order to express the appropriate message. Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.